and read two verses, three verses from the fifth chapter of the book of John. Praise God. That may seem a little out of place, but hopefully it will be all right. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The heaven of the Lord is going to be all right. Amen. We can sing the song. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. If I take it to the
which taketh away the sin of the world. Third yeah. verse. This is he of whom I said, after me comes the man which is referred before me. Oh. He was before me. Third verse, verse. And I knew him not, that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing the world. God bear record saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him, and I knew him not. For he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same as he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. John also wrote, I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. Praise God. That's verse number 1, 34. John wrote uh, next in chapter 1, 36. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, behold the Lamb of God. Praise God. We were on to uh, mention how John uh, points out how Jesus selected uh, his disciples. We just want to point out that Jesus selected his, selected his, uh, his, uh, his, his deputies, uh -huh. praise God, his disciples, praise God. As we move forward, we are in chapter 2, verse 11, and introduced to the beginning of, of miracles. We want to introduce the beginning of miracles performed by Jesus in Canaan, in the of Galilee. They ran out of wine. Jesus turned water into wine. Yes. It was Jesus' mother who suggested that they should allow Jesus, praise God, to refill the, the containers that they were using so that he could bless it and turn in. And the man who, were, who was about to receive the wine, he, he made a comment. He says that most folks wait until the <laughs> beginning to give the good wine. But you, you guys are waiting until the last to give the good wine. Praise so he, he went down to Capernaum with his mother, his brother, and his disciples. And he had uh, cleaned the temple of those who said, sold sheep and oxen. John writes of the Pharisee, he writes of Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews, who came by night question Jesus. Jesus informed him he must be born of the water and of the spirit. Yeah. Praise him. John wrote in chapter 4, Jesus left Judea and departed again into Galilee that he must leave, go through Samaria. Yeah. And we understand and we know the story of Jesus going into Samaria, mm -hmm. and we understand that he must have had a special uh, direction to go to uh, Samaria. There was a lady who was sitting at the well, mm -hmm. who was waiting. Uh, she was really collecting water for the house, but she was there when Jesus, when, when, when Jesus was there when she came, and he asked her to give him some water. Mm -hmm. so we're going to get there, folks. Mm -hmm. so a little bit right now, but we're going to get that. Mm -hmm. I got to get a pair of glasses. For sure. mm -hmm. uh, and, and so she, she realized, hallelujah, that something was different about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that he, he makes a difference in our lives. Yes. Jesus is God all by himself. Yes. He is the everlasting God. He's the God of glory. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And so this lady, praise God, 
she asked him, said, this doesn't normally happen. You are Jew asking water of me, a Samaritan. Praise the Lord. But Jesus said, if you knew, if you had any idea who it is that you're talking to, sometimes we don't realize that we're talking to the Almighty God. Sometimes we don't realize, praise God, that what we say is very important to God and to our betterment. Praise God. And so she didn't realize, praise God, at first, praise God, uh, what Jesus was talking about. He, he was on the spiritual realm, and she was on the natural realm. That's right. Praise God. And so when she uh, asked, praise God, how can you, praise God, give me water? You have nothing, no, no thing to dip the water with. You have no bucket, no, no, nothing to dip. Jesus said, praise God, if you knew, praise God, who it is. I, I want to emphasize that fact. If you knew who it is who asked you for water, praise God, I would give you living water. Praise God. In other words, I would give you water that you have never had before. But he wasn't finished with her. He, but he asked her, where is your husband? Praise God. Hallelujah. And she said, I have no husband. And Jesus said, you're right. Praise God. Because you have had five husbands. Praise God. And the one that you have now is not yours. Praise God. And so she was taken up, uh, praise God, to the extreme to think that who is this man who knows so much about him? Praise God. And praise God. The conversation goes on and on until she finally decided, that, well, I need to go tell someone else. I need to go downtown and tell the men uh, that hanging around downtown that praise God, I met the, the Savior. Praise God. I met yes, the Lord. one, praise Amen. God, and told me all things yes, that I have done. Isn't, isn't he the Savior? Yes, praise God. And, and so, praise God, that's one instance. Mm. Praise God of Jesus. Praise God go going oh. into Samaria. Yes, there was in Samaria a woman who needed, she needed direction. She was, praise God, she was a woman who needed, praise God, uh, an important information. And so she had got her information. She went downtown and told the men about salvation and God himself. Praise God. But now let, let us take a, a little bit uh, above our main, talk a little bit about our main character. We're talking about a man who, praise God, who had, who had been coming, praise God. I believe the scripture said he was coming for 38 years. Praise God to this school, this pool of uh, Bethesda. Praise God. He, he had been coming and coming. Praise God. He was faithfully coming uh, whenever he had an opportunity to come to Bethesda. Now this place uh, was a place where there was water. Praise God. It was a place, hallelujah, that somebody could receive help. But they had to be quick, they had to move quickly, mm -hmm. step down in the water after the angels had troubled the water. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But this man, apparently he was unable to move quickly. So he had been coming 38 years trying to get into the water before someone else did. Praise God. Hallelujah. But he, he wasn't able to do it. Praise God. Now, we don't know too much about this man. And we don't have a name for him. We don't know his exact age. Mm -hmm. We don't know what nationality he was. But what we do know, praise God, is that he's been trying for 38 years yeah. to be the first into the water that he might be, might be healed, that he might be delivered. Oh. Praise God, Father. Oh. But he wasn't able to because he had a, de he had a, de a de deficit. He had, had a, a way that he could not go into the water real fast. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And, and so Jesus saw him, and apparently Jesus had made praise God, a concerted effort to be there when he was there. Just like Jesus was there for the for the woman at the well. Jesus was constantly working things out to be a blessing to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I just believe that today Jesus is working things out for somebody to be blessed today. I, I don't know who, it might 
might be and hallelujah. It might even be me. Praise the Lord. Somebody is going to be blessed today because hallelujah, Jesus wants you blessed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The story of this man who had been coming 38 years is supposed to move somebody, somebody who has been working and laboring for a long, long time and have not gotten your blessing. You can wait on your blessing. You can receive your blessing today. You can receive an anointing from the Almighty God. But God wants you to deliver. He wants you to heal. Praise God. Just like He wants every soul healed for that need to be healed. Our God is the God of healing. He's a, he's a God of deliverance. He's a God of peace. He's a God of victory over circumstances. Praise God. And so as we stand here and sit here today, yes. praise God. You might have a special request of God. Amen. You might have a special uh, a reason for being here today. Amen. You may have had a condition in your body that you have not been able to eliminate from your, from your system. Amen. Whatever it is, you're here today because of a special reason, a special anointing. Just like this man who was there for 30 years, he was there at the right time. Right. We can say that you're here at the right time. Right. You're not here accidentally. You're not here just because it's the first Sunday. You're here because God wanted you to be here this day. God needs you to have a part of it in this service this day. He needs you to be here because he has a blessing for you. Thank you, Father. And I don't know your name. I don't know what your condition is. Praise God. I, I only know that this man who had been coming for 38 years, praise God, he, he, he was faithful. He had a faith in God. That's right. Praise God. Nobody can deny his faith. And it doesn't Amen. even mention that he had faith. But we can see that if he's been coming for 38 years, yes. he must have had some faith wow. that one day yes. uh, it's going to happen. One day, God, I'm going to be saved. One day, I'm going to be delivered. Yes, one day, praise God. I don't know when, praise God. I don't care when, but I'm coming anyway to ensure that anyway, I don't miss out yes, on my blessing. Hallelujah, you don't have to miss out on this blessing. Yes, you don't have to miss out on anything that God has in store for you. Amen. All you have to do is praise God. You. Kick in your praise God, your belief. Yes, Lord. Remember we said Hallelujah. belief is 98 times listening in the book of John. Yes, 29 times in the other gospel. Mm -hmm. So God put a special emphasis. Yes, praise God. Emphasis on believing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And the word said, if thou canst believe, all yes, things are possible yes, to him that believe it. Yes, and, and you may not praise him, thank you, believe, but this man, apparently, he didn't know mm -hmm. why he, uh, praise God, wasn't uh, healed. Mm -hmm. He knew that he couldn't get into the water. But he had no idea that the God from glory was going to come and single him out yes. and that person to receive, praise yes. God, our blessing, to receive yes. a miracle. And he would be the second miracle that Jesus performed. Remember, his first miracle was praying at Cana. Praise God. When he turned the water into wine. Yes. And now, praise God, he had, uh, uh, he had Bethesda. Yes, Lord. And because he's at Bethesda, this is going to be the second miracle that he was going to perform. But it doesn't matter, praise God, what number you are. As long as you get your blessing. Yes, as long as God is willing yes, praise God, to cause you to say, take up your bed. Because that's what he told the man. Praise God. After he realized, will, will you be saved? Will you be delivered? He said, take up your bed and walk. Yes, Amen. And God wants someone to take up, praise God, whatever you've been dealing with and cast it into the sea. Praise God. And never to think about it anymore. But whatever that condition, whatever that circumstance Amen. that you've been dealing Amen. with, praise God wants you to say to that circumstance, that condition, this day, praise God, I don't have it anymore. Amen. I've been healed. I've been delivered. Praise God. The Lord has brought me, hallelujah, healing and deliverance. And so I, I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I'm saved. I'm glad that I'm here. I feel the Spirit of God moving on the inside. Hallelujah. Because when God gets ready to heal, nobody can stop him. If you want to be healed, you can be healed. Praise God by the 
by just the word of God. Yes, sir. But if you can only believe, believe. Amen. Now, that's the key word, if you can believe. Now this man, praise God, who was there for 38 years, we don't know, praise God, when he start, started to believe or why he started to believe, but we know that he must have desired to be healed. That's right. Praise God. And everything else was secondary to him. But he didn't mind, praise God, uh, failing one, two, thirty-eight times. He failed to get in the water before anyone else. But Amen. that didn't bother him. Yeah. He was continuously trying to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And when you're continuously trying to do the right thing, yes. praise God, God sees, Thank praise you. God, your effort. Amen. He yeah. knows how, what you're doing. He knows your condition. He knows your circumstance. Praise God. And God will make an individual, you, praise God, a specified uh, visit. Yes. He'll come to you when you praise God when no one else, Amen. praise God, know what's going on. Amen. This man, praise God, uh, he he didn't know, praise God, that it was Jesus, praise God, who was talking to him. He did not realize, praise God, that he had the God from glory in his corner. All he knew, praise God, that he's been trying yes. for 38 years to be healed. And nothing has happened because he wasn't quick enough to get into the water when the water was uh, stirred. But now, praise God, here's Jesus talking to him, telling him, praise God, to pick up your bed and walk. Now he could have said, praise God, what are you talking about, man? I've been trying for 38 years to be delivered and nothing has happened yet. Is this the day that is going to happen? Yeah, that's what that was the day for him. Uh -huh. This may be your day. Amen. This may be the time that you do. praise God to pick up, praise God, your burden, whatever that burden is, of, cast it, you bring it into the open sea, cast it away, and it may not, praise God, cause you any more problem. I, 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 I'm glad that I'm stuttering. I'm glad that now. I don't have to worry about my, what I say, but what God says. Whether we are saved, delivered, healed, or financed, but it is God who says this will happen on this particular day. And God is telling me that something's supposed to happen praise God, to somebody this day. Somebody's supposed to be blessed. For even on the tried time of doing the stuttering and the, and, and, and the, the failure to pronounce words correctly. Somebody's going to be delivered today. Somebody's going to be healed. Somebody's going to say, I'm delivered because God has delivered me. Praise God. That man that you saw him pick up your bed and walk, he took up his bed. Praise God. And put it on a Sabbath day. Praise God. And so folks was kind of upset with him. Because he was carrying his bed on a Sabbath day. You know, sometimes folks don't want you to be blessed. That's right. They don't want you to be healed. But you have to make up your mind. Your mind has to be made up. That I want to be delivered. I want to be healed. I don't want to face this condition anymore. I want to be delivered because my God ought to have the power. How many know that God has the power? Whatever drawback, whatever yes. thing that the devil might place on you, God has yes. the power to yes. deliver. Yes. And he can do it immediately. Yes. And Amen. because of this man picked up his bed, as soon as Jesus can pick up your bed and walk, he was blessed. Amen. You got to trust God that way. Amen. You got to trust him that whatever he says, we got to believe it right away. That's right. We can't wait until Monday. Praise God. Say, well, let me see, let me think about it. But whenever God speaks, oh God, how you got to be able to say, yes, Lord. Yes. Whenever God speaks to you, praise God, you got to say, right now, you know, right now. Yes. Father, you got to be able to understand, amen, that God has all power in his name. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to understand that there's nothing. Praise God that God cannot do. Amen. Praise God. There's no disease. God. Praise God that God cannot heal. Amen. Praise, there's Amen. no sickness. Amen. Praise God that God cannot deliver you That's from. Right. That's right. Praise God. Not, not even the fact that you may be close to death door. Praise God. You know how Jesus walked up to the castle and, and said, Praise God, this man had been dead. Praise God. But he spoke.
and he came back to life. You remember the last one, last one, and praise God, dead, praise God, yeah. in the grave. Praise God, I believe it was two days, or was it four days? Two days in the, four days in the, in, in the grave. Yeah. Praise God, and when Jesus finally got to bear his mouth, praise God, hallelujah. They were anxious, praise God, they were, they were, uh, they were sort of hurt because Jesus had not come and they thought he should have. Praise God. For Jesus has shown me where he left. Show me where he Praise God. Hallelujah. Right. And so Jesus didn't stop, praise God, believing that he could raise Lazarus from the dead because they did not believe. Amen. Jesus understood, praise God, who he was. He knew, praise God, what power he possessed. And we should know today, hallelujah, that our God has all power. All power, all power is given unto him. He has the power to deliver whatever sickness, whatever, whatever disease, whatever situation you're facing. Praise God. God can deliver you. God is able to heal you. God is able to break you out. And I got to say to myself, praise God, that I believe in God. I, I'm standing on God's word that I'm healed, that I've been delivered. Praise God. Yes, they say I got, praise God, things in my bed. But God knows all about it. Amen. I believe mean, God knows all about it. Amen. And I believe mean that when time, praise God, for me to be healed, yes. praise God, God is going to praise God, heal me. Amen. Bless me. Bless me. Bless me. Bless me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I couldn't read my notes, so I praise God. But I, I just believe that God is somebody to live with. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever you have, it brings, it's not going to take you out of here. Praise God. It's a, God's going to deliver you. But you got to believe that it's going to happen. And, and, and it may not take you 38 years, praise God, before it, you get healed. But it took this man 38 years before he, he could, praise God, receive his healing. That's a long time. But it's a, it's a long in the fact that the time is long. But God can do anything whenever he wants to. Yes, he can. God was just testing this man to Praise see how faithful he would be. Praise God uh, allowed us to be tested sometime mm -hmm. to see how faithful That's right. we are. Yes, Lord. And sometimes we're not very faithful yes. when it comes to God. Yes. If it's not done right away, praise God. We feel, praise God, that it will never be done. But wait on your blessing. Wait on your blessing. Wait on your blessing. Wait on your blessing. God has a blessing in store for you. And all you have to do is, praise God, humble yourself. Trust in the Lord. Have faith in God. Have faith the size, the Bible says, have faith the size of a mustard seed. You, you, you can cause the mountain to be born. That's right. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Anybody got any mountain that they need God? That's what he did with the lady at the well. He, he told her, praise God, that yes, praise God, uh, you, 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 you don't have a person. Thank you, Lord. You don't have a person. You, you think you have a person. Thank you, Lord. And it's in Jerusalem. It's Thank you, Lord. The Jews who, praise God, are in control of God, healing so blessings. Yes, praise God. I, I'm so glad that the story is, is relevant. Praise God. Just whatever you think. Praise God. Uh, if you believe that God can heal, God will heal. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's up to you to believe and to accept the fact that God can. Amen. Yes, Lord. And only you can do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Only you can believe that God can. Yes. And He will. If you allow me to. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Receive your blessing. Praise God. In Jesus' name. I'm finished. Amen.
we praise God for what you have given. We know that you have given from the depths of your heart. And we know that God is blessing you abundantly. Amen. Truly we thank you. We praise God as we prepare for our Holy Communion service. We want everybody to take a moment. Take a moment and just ask God if you've done anything or you've said anything that's not pleasing in the sight of God. Just take a moment and ask God to forgive you. Amen. There's something that we, we might have came across during the week. And we just want to be forgiven because as much as we um, take this communion, we do show the Lord's death until he comes. And we want everybody to be able to take communion. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just ask God, take your time right now and ask God to forgive you. In Jesus Christ's name. And we're going to turn it into the hands of Elathorne that he might read our scripture for the day. That's the praise of all. Praise the Lord. I invite you to read along with me. Praise the Lord. Come from the 11th chapter of 1st Corinthians. We're going to start at the 23rd verse.